Hello, this is Morgan and Sean. We're from Great Falls, Montana. Uh, we love watching Trucker Josh vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe. So today is one of our Christmas decorating days and when I say one of our decorating days it's because we barely made a dent in all of our decorations but it's been glorious. We got our tree up while well, we're in the process of getting it all set up here and she's touching or touching she's putting all her ornaments on the tree that I don't dare touch because I touched one once and it broke and I am very lucky to still have a wife. <laughs> still married them. We weren't even married yet. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna save that one. I got a lot of the outside decorations done already. You can see a little head in the window right there. I still got to do all of these yet, so we got to do the whole garage yet, and whatever we're gonna figure out to do with those. I'll give you a little look, little preview, because we're not done. Just letting you know, this isn't the finished product. This is just what we've gotten done so far. Let me get my outdoor slippers on. Let's go take a look. All right, so I've got the whole front done and I've started to go around the house. That's as far as I've gotten so far. It's a little bit windy out here, so bear with me, guys. I started just as I, literally just as I started uh, vlogging here. We got all these icicles all the way along there. We got our snowman right over here and our little wiener dog, our Christmas wiener, saying hi to everybody. And it goes all the way along to this side of the house here. And then here, I'm still working on it. So just the red and green, just like the other side are gonna go this way. Uh, these icicles, I'd love to have them go all the way around the house, but those are a little bit pricey. Those are the most expensive lights out of all of these. So we just did the front with those but these red and green ones I'm gonna get it all the way around here yet and we can't see anything back there right now but a lot of work to do that's why we started early right and for us we've already had Thanksgiving so there's nothing now until Christmas so it's it's an ongoing process of setting it up we'll start a little earlier next year but the lights don't turn on until after Remembrance Day and it is after Remembrance Day the, the red and green are also going all the way around our garage. I'm gonna set those up sometime yet. But uh, yeah, I think it I think it looks pretty good. I love this snowman. Britt picked him out here. I love that. I think that adds a lot. Super cool. We love Christmas. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but it's our favorite time of year. What do you think there, Frosty? Now that you're all lit up, you seem a lot more lively today. Did you know? Santa's my homie. Yeah? Lives a little further north of here. What were you doing out there, man? It's cold. I was just showing the good people here the Christmas lights that we have up so far. So far. And every year we want to add on to it, right? So I think next year we're going to... Uh, do a little bit more inside the house. We went a little crazy, or a little crazier outside the house this year. So next year we'll do more inside. We got all of this here, ribbon and Britt is an expert tree, what would you call it, tree decorator? I got it from my mom, just saying. So, even got little wiener dogs. We. We know they kind of look like rats, but it's a wiener dog, I promise. <laughs> My mom picked those up at the end of season last year. <laughs> well, what do you think, Diesel? What do you think? It's a work in progress, man. We'll at least get the tree done tonight. A little snowball. I got this from Santa in my stocking when I was four, so he's got like no paint left on him. All the paint chips are floating around. Oh my. But it's important to me, so I still put them out. <laughs> Britt's ornaments, she keeps every single one and every single ornament she has is very sentimental and has a personal story attached to it. It's true. That's why when I, 
when I broke that one, it sort of broke part of your soul. Well, no, we got to keep part of the ornament. I still hang it. Mm. Ashley got me this for Christmas one year when I was nine years old. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. It's never been tampered with. Don't touch. This is as close as we're gonna get, people. I'm already too close. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> starting to sweat. So we got the Christmas tunes going. We got the dogs here that we're supposed to be helping. But they're really good spectators though. Very good, very good. So yeah, that's what we've been up to today. Tomorrow we start heading down to Georgia. So we've got to get all our Christmas done today. Well, as, a lot, as much as we can. I mean, we can do more uh, as Christmas gets closer, but I wanted to get the stuff outside done before it got really, really cold. We can do the rest of the stuff inside here as the season gets closer. So we got quite a bit more of the lights done before we left home, but it's time to go back to work. Gotta go make some money. Christmas is coming. <laughs> So Steinbeck, like I said, they, they put up their lights here uh, in November, but they don't turn them on until after Remembrance Day. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do next year and from now on at home. It's just a little bit too cold. I was lucky that we had a pretty warm weekend this weekend that I could work outside and not freeze. But I still have to finish quite a bit. Like, I haven't even started on the garage yet. And I got two more strands to put up on the back of the house. It just, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would, maybe just because I'm learning what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I'm using these clips now. We got a new roof and eaves troughs, so I got to figure out how it all works. That guy's got his high beams on over there at the light. I'm crying out loud, people. It's this big blue light shining at you on your dash. You don't see it? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so it's going to take a lot more time. So I think I'm going to, like, start, like, in fall time. But I won't turn them on until after Remembrance Day. Just to make it easier on me, because it gets cold so early here, right? If this was the US, like a little further south, or even some warmer parts of Canada, I can understand, yeah, I wouldn't want to put them up that early. But, you know, this is Manitoba. This is why no one lives here, because it's so cold. I'm thinking I'm gonna set them up a little earlier next year, but don't worry, I won't turn them on. All right, so Karen's showing us our route here. It's 2,922 kilometers to our destination. We're starting up here in Manitoba, Canada, and we're making our way down through the United States, down to southeastern Georgia. So, that's what the route looks like from afar. And that's where we're starting off today. We have four days to get there. Somebody, and this load, you see that's where I am right there, right? Winnipeg, Manitoba. This load actually came from Edmonton, Alberta, which is way over here. So it came from all the way over here. It's going all the way down here. All the way down here to a Love's Travel Center. Down there. Someone down there needed a, an underground fuel tank. From up here. That's a pretty long trek. So here, I'll put this. This came from right where that cursor is there, across the continent. I love these kind of trips. I haven't been down to Georgia in so long, I'm so excited to get down there again and see how everything's going. I know it's going good. It's the south. Of course it's going good. I'm just into North Dakota. Literally just crossed the line and my truck started uh, telling me I need to stop and do a parked regen. Which pretty much means that there's a lot of gunk built up in my DEF exhaust filter. And I need to sit here and clean it out. The truck sort of burns it off this way. But I have to stop here for a parked region, which usually takes 40 to 60 minutes. Been here for 20 already, 25 minutes. I haven't had to do a parked regen in so long. I don't even remember the last time I had to do a parked regen. Usually I gotta do a lot of these if I idle a lot, like if I idle through the night. And I guess that makes sense because I hardly ever idle anymore. Uh, and I've been idling a little bit more recently because there's been some cold nights. But apparently, now my truck needs to do a parked regen. So we're just patiently waiting just on the American side of the border. As soon as this RPM goes down and it tells me that everything is good to go, we can continue down the road. U-turn if possible into 130 meters. 
Well, we're stopping in Grand Forks, North Dakota, which isn't very far, but I messed up my regen. You can't move the truck or you can't do anything while you're in the middle of a regen, right? If you interrupt the regen, you have to start all over. Look at you turn if possible. No, Karen, we're gonna go in here. So I thought the regen was over, so I started rolling, right? I'm like, oh good, it's over. No, it wasn't. If I would have waited five more minutes, I would have been done. But then what my truck does is it wants to start all over again. And each parked regen takes about, Thank like I said, 45 to 60, 60 minutes. Meters. No, Karen, we got to go to sleep here now. Didn't make it as far because uh, we pretty much sat there for two hours while my truck tried to regen. Uh, whatever, we're going to stop here for the night. And Oh, there's a nice spot right here too. Check that out. Check that out. I'm going to park right in there. Right here, front and center, right in front of the pumps. What's really weird here is, uh, you see that scale right there? The only way for you to be able to use the scale and go over the scale is to come from over here through the pumps. So if there's somebody in the pumps, you can't get onto the scale. It's like, you know where you would wait for a coffee? Like, you know, you, you fuel, you pull ahead and you wait for coffee. In that one lane, like one, two, three over from the end here, that's where the scale is. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if someone's in front of you, too bad, you gotta wait for them. Or if somebody's on the scale, you can't get out of the pump, you have to back out of the pumps. How weird is that? I haven't stayed here in a while. So I'm just gonna send my paperwork into the office. La -dee -da -dee -da. Did my post trip. Almost said pre trip. That will do in the morning. How about that? Only one thing at a time. I need some sleep first. It's uh, 1137 in the evening now. I was really thinking that I was going to get further than this. Oh well. You have six hours and 44 minutes of remaining drive time. Oh, I have a lot more than that. That's how long I can go till a half hour break. We're going into the sleeper here. Into the sleeper. All right. Good times, good times. So thanks for watching today. A little bit of home time, a little bit of on the road time. Uh, now we got three days of driving from here to get down to southern and southeast Georgia, down by the coast there. Should be fun. I don't know how far we're going to make it tomorrow. Like, uh, like I've been telling you, it's been a while since I've been down there. Looking forward to it. So tag along with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit that little bell. Get a notification when I upload my videos. And let's see what Georgia's got to, got to show us. See if anything's changed since I was there last couple years ago. Things are changing, obviously. They're building a new love, so that's why I'm going down there.